All right. I just did my video on the whole Royal thing, and I, I hope I gave a good opinion about it or whatever, entertaining one at least. There was just so much shit there, and I don't know enough about the family, but my God, here's what I do know. Piers Morgan looks like a female, like Mrs. George Washington. That's what he's always looked like. He looks like a bitter old British bitch. That's just what he fucking looks just like. Not even an old British bitch, just a bitter old grandma who with a, he's got the wobbly chin and all that. He annoys the fuck out of me. I don't know why this guy is famous because he's a fucking great journalist. He asks the hard hitting questions. No, he asks the obnoxious questions. I've seen the guy before. He's a horrible, horrible uh, piece of fucking, you know, pus that needs to be exterminated from the planet. Uh, he, do we not forget that he used to work for some British paper that actually, I think they were found guilty of tapping the phones, I think, of celebrities or other reporters or something like that. He was there at that time, but we forget that, right? And somehow he worked his way over like Simon Cowell's ass. Why are we besieged by British asshole judges? I don't get it. I think any other country would be just as mad if we sent every American over to judge one of their shows, but the prerequisites, the American had to be a raging ass to everybody. Yeah, I didn't like that, you fucking line. Yeah, that sucked. Oh, it was your, oh, oh, it was your national anthem over here. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I'm going to scratch my balls while you sing again. I hate you. Fuck off. That's, I mean, that's all the British judges we've ever gotten. Somebody lit a firecracker up Simon Cowell's ass to be a raging dick, and then ever since then, Piers Morgan's been riding his cock ever since all the way over here. And he's been on The Apprentice, where he acted the ass. He's been on, I think, America's Got Talent. Why is he in America's Got Talent? Can he blow himself? I mean, what, I want to know what, if you are in America's Got Talent as a judge, you should at least have a fucking talent. And I'm talking to about people like Heidi Klum, the stick figure who walks around, you know, what, because she cannot go without eating for like three weeks? I don't get it. But every time I've seen this guy, he just irks the fucking piss out of me. I can't stand him. I don't give a fuck about his opinions about our politics because you're not from here. You have nothing to do with here. I know we affect the rest of the country and everything, but I just, this rule just goes for him because I hate him. <laughs> It's just shut the fuck up. You get all the, he got like a Larry King show that flopped. So he sucks at what he does. And here's the thing I didn't know. Apparently he went out with Meghan Markle. He had a date with Meghan Markle. This date must have been so horrendously bad that after they had some drinks, she, he didn't even get back. He didn't even get her back to his place, to, you know, to grab a tit or have some kind of, a, you know, a little bit of a makeout session. Although, can you see him fucking? Think of Piers Morgan fucking. Do you want that? Any ladies out there, just let me know right now. If you, I'm, I'm dead serious. If you think he's hot, be like, I would fucking take it any way he gave it to me. He could put Tabasco sauce in my nether regions and then pound it. I love that guy. I, I, I don't get it, but okay, fine. So Piers Morgan uh, had a date with Meghan Markle. This date must have been so horrendously bad. Like I said, he couldn't even get her back to the apartment. She fled, and not only did she flee the date, she fled and went to another place where she went, guess who? Prince Harry who she had no problem boning right away. We all know it. Come on, wouldn't you? But <laughs> she had no problem right away. She's like, yes, please. Hopping on the royal, you know, sausage and, you know, bouncing around for a while till she had a baby. We love her for it. Um, and this chapped his ass, Piers Morgan. Never fucking got over it. He told this tale. It's on YouTube. You can see it. He was kind of like, <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. You know, she totally ditched me because I don't know why. I'm such a playboy and everything like that. Ew. No one wants to, you know, have sex with you and hold your tits up. I mean, shut up. So, so ever since this whole thing broke with Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, he's been reaming her. He's to every fucking day just to like, you know, say, I don't believe her. How bloody dare she? I can't. He is so outraged by this chick. She's just disgracing the country. They're horrible. And I might have thought you had a point if I hadn't seen that all the other British broadcasters, you know, they... I guess some of them don't like it, and some of them are like, well, you know, that's her truth or whatever like that. Oh, it's not her truth. Oh, no, 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 no. But they all sit around, and they act very calm about it. This guy's head is literally ready to explode. Every day, they have these good morning Brits. It's like just as bad as our fucking awful good morning show. And he was on there. I think it's good morning Britain or something like that. And I swear to God, for like the past week or whatever, been this going on. And this is just a bloody shame. Blah, 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 blah. I mean, Brian, how can I police do this? They need attention. This is wrong. And I'm just, I'm, it's not because she wouldn't fuck me in my micro penis. It's not. It's not because, you know, she actually saw it in the bathroom. I didn't tell that part of the story. And she said, <laughs> what, what is that ramen noodle doing between your legs? It's not. It's not because she pointed at me and said, I didn't know you were a eunuch. It's not that at all. It's not because she turned me down. It's not because she turned me down. It's because she turned me down. 
I could have had with Prince Harry. She didn't want to fuck me. She didn't want to. This, I, so finally, he gets so mad and somebody, finally, these little co-anchors, I don't know what he does to them, you know, on the side. I don't know if he just, you know, just starts beating them with wet towels immediately after the show is over. But, you know, they, they act like they have contentious debates with them. Just, no, no, I politely disagree with you, Piers. No, I politely disagree. No, no, I think, blah, 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 blah. I'd slap the piss out of him. So, you know, Jay, what I think, shut the fuck up. No one cares what you think. Shut the fuck up. I swear to God, shut the fuck up. I'm, gonna, yeah, I'm calling Meghan Markle. How small was it? Yeah, yeah. Put it on speaker. <laughs> so, finally, one guy, one man, basically said to him, because he was railing on again, I think this was yesterday now, on and on about Meghan Markle, and the guy goes, you know, basically, and I'm paraphrasing, he said, let's just face it, you're mad because she cut you off a long time ago. Oh, girlfriend went crazy. He, I don't have to take this. I, oh, God. Oh, he grabbed his boobs. He actually grabbed his boobs. Oh, he started screaming like a girl. <laughs> He actually went, I don't have to take this. I don't bloody, I don't blah, blah, blah. He walked off like a pussy because you're a pussy. You don't mind the challenging questions, but when someone gives you a piece of honest pie, all of a sudden you're a bitch. All of a sudden you're a bitch and you can't take it. And you, not only are you a bitch and can't take it for the day, you had to quit. You quit the next day. They fucking, they were gone. They were so happy to see his ass go. I saw like the day after thing. The girl was like, you could tell the girl was trying not to laugh. She's like, you know, we have a lot of contentious debates here. And, you know, Pierce has sat next to me for five years. Trust me, I still smell like him. And, you know, it's sour old broccoli farts and just old man. But um, we kind of liked him. And, you know, it won't be the same, but we shall go on. And so on we go. It's still high five. I know, right? It's bloody fantastic. I'm just glad the guy finally got called out by somebody. I don't care that he, I mean, he didn't lose his job. He quit. He quit because he's a pussy. I don't care what you say. Tell me I'm wrong. How am I wrong? Would you, if someone just said one negative thing about you, you, it, would you let it affect your check? I wouldn't. I'd come back at them. He's so hard hitting. He's so ballsy and all that, right? Here, that's for Piers Morgan. And I just always want to say that because he never could stand it bastard. And you know what? Meghan Markle apparently agrees. <laughs>